Okay. And this we will call the design review board meeting for March 6, 2024 to order. I'll start out with the roll call. Shoemaker. Here. McFarland. Here. Zvolensky. Here. Uhl. Here. And Wanger. <coughs> All right. The first thing on the agenda <coughs> is our first meeting of the year, so we need to elect the chair and vice chair. <coughs> Any nominations? Then I'll jump I know, at once. I know how it's going to work. <laughs> so I'm going to nominate Tom. Okay. <laughs> I'll nominate John. <laughs> See who it is. <laughs> Much better candidate. But your wife hasn't warned you like my wife has warned me, so... <laughs> Okay, so we have, I guess we need a motion on... I'll make a motion right. for yeah. John. For John? Yeah. I'll second Is there it. a second on that? Yep. All those in favor? So Aye. 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 Uh, okay. Opposed? Aye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... <laughs> let me get caught up here. We would need to do the same thing for a vice chair. I guess we'll, nom want... we'll nominate Mike. Okay. I've known him longer than anybody else in the room, so. We have a second on that? I'll second that. I was going to uh, nominate Mike. Go ahead. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> that was real quiet. <laughs> Bob, you seconded the first one, right? Yes. Okay. Just so we get our records correct. Okay. The next thing is the November 1st review and approval of the November 1st, 2023 meeting minutes. Went out of their packets. Was there any questions? Anything missing? Errors? If not, we would need a motion to accept those minutes. I'll make a motion. Second? I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No. I wasn't here, so I abstain. You're abstaining? <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> do you want me to just keep rolling, or do you want to take over now that you're the chair? Go ahead. I, I just want you to make the phone call tell my wife that I got railroaded. <laughs> 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 No big deal. No. That's what they said when it was made the zoning board chair way back in the 80s, whenever that was. But anyway, um, well, I guess the first item on the agenda is the Domino's Project 181 West Jackson Street, Mr. Singh. Um, I see where he's requested a variance on the size of the sign. However, I did not see any that told me what the size of the sign was. Did you guys get this? We should have got this in here. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's got the dimensions on there. It does have the dimensions. Here's the color one if you want. Here's the color one if you want. So they're, they're proposing a couple different facade improvements. And then the signage as well. Okay. Come on in. Um, one second here. Where's my picture? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so on the front of the building there, the proposal is to take out the upper, the glass block, the small glass block. Mm -hmm. And that's what the 
the version two drawing is showing is what it's just going to all be glass windows okay. across there. Hey, there they are. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Hi. We're just talking about your proposal okay. right now. So, so yeah, the 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 front glass will all come out. This is what will go in. Moving the door to the center as, instead of on the end, and then the obviously the signage is what they're applying for as well and then the the fiber cement siding is proposed to go around the top of the new glass and then yes, around yes, yep. just yep. around the corner on the west wall where that brick that short section of brick is mm -hmm. so, so just on the top and along the side yes So the signage came up to 37.45 square feet. They're limited to 32. That's why it'll have to go to the Planning and Zoning Board if you approve what they've proposed. And then the rem remainder of it would be those facade changes. Now, <clears throat> I see where we have a new sign up here on the Mexican restaurant too. Did, was he within the guidelines as far as having the signage put on his facade up there? I, I, I don't know. I would, what new one? This is La Palma on the thing. I guess I hadn't noticed a new one okay. up there. All right. I'll, I'll have to talk to I'll him. Talk to Alejandro and find out. Yeah. I mean, we're not we're not that talking about that big a square footage difference. Here, no. Thirty-seven point four versus. 32. 32. Yeah, and on these corner buildings, we I'll pick on you, Tom. We've approved variances in the past where they have frontage on two streets that mm -hmm. obviously want to have good visibility on the corner. So it wouldn't be. There's precedent set already that we've approved variances for those types of requests. It's not out of line by any means. Mm -hmm. I don't remember ever coming to council where there was approval for Troyer's sweet shop. How about that big sign? How much it didn't. square feet? It didn't. Planning and zoning approves variances, not council. Usually we get an update when it's happened, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Because I don't remember. I don't hear, remember hearing anything about that. Should have. I mean, Actually, was, the hotel has way more square footage than anybody else in town. Yeah, they're over 200, yeah. if I remember right. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest myself, I don't have a problem with it. Doesn't really hit the pro profile of historic downtown Millersburg, though. That's I, I I've heard say. rumblings from other people on other projects, so yeah. That's, the, that's my only comment. That, I really don't have an objection. It is big, but uh, like you say, you've set precedent out, out with other projects, so I see where we can really say a whole lot about it. Any other comments from us? I was just going to say the same thing. When you look at the other buildings down that street, it doesn't really fit fit in what we're trying to do with the historic downtown. And it's nice to have a new business in town too, so we don't want to scare them off just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? Take a vote on the, on the matter. Or is the, need, the, need a motion. Need a motion, yeah. Sorry. See, you should have been a chair, Mike. <laughs> I haven't done this for 25 years, so. Thank you. So I need a motion to, to make a vote on this. I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. Need a second? I do. I'll second. 
Weingard? Aye. Poole? Aye. Volonsky? Aye. Shoemaker? Aye. McFarland? Aye. So you're approved other than the variance for the sign that'll go at 630. Okay. So All right. contingent approval at this point. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, second item is the uh, sign that is up on Grant Street. And that is for Pitmaster's Pizzeria. That's yeah, a pretty big sign, too. It looks like we're over by just a little bit on that one. You want to give us the specifics, Nate? Yeah, I meant, I'm sorry, I meant to put on there. Uh, it's 30, 33.75 square feet. <clears throat> so same deal you guys are looking at the design of it yep. he's using the existing Steve's here as well if you want to have specific questions for him but he's using the existing freestanding sign that Fox has had just what was there before but it is over the 32 square foot limit so he'll have to come back in April for a um, variance the reason he's not on tonight's planning and zoning we didn't we didn't get the variance application back in time to meet the 10-day advertising we have to notify all the surrounding property owners 10 days prior to the meeting so he applied towards what the end of uh, February and just didn't we just didn't have that 10-day window that we have to have for the variance so he'll have to come back in April for that part of it Pretty straightforward, I think. I mean, it's, yeah. it's an existing sign pole. Just looking to put his new business sign up there. All right. Any, any discussion about that? And we had talked, uh, just kind of for your own information or for future thought, I think you'll be coming back at some point. We talked about some different facade changes you wanted to do to that building at some point as well, but wasn't ready to commit to that at this point. Okay. Again, it's the same sign, same square foot yeah, that we it's, had before, so I think it was It's a new sign, basically. though, technically, so yeah. have, All right. have I guess to bring need, it in. You don't have any further discussion? I guess I need a motion. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Shoemaker? Aye. Langard? Aye. McFarland? Aye. Golensky? Here. Cool. <laughs> Aye. All right. So you're good to go as well. Save the worst for last. I was going to say, this is quite, quite the uh, presentation here. Yeah. All right, the last item on the agenda <laughs> is the Village Hall. And, uh, I guess I can put two and two together with the photos of the proposed changes, the colors. And what we, what are we, are we planning on making any changes to the columns, that sort of thing, or what's the, what's the plan? Yeah, so the, uh, I apologize, those pictures did not come through very good no, at all. Didn't, but that's what do sometimes. They're, at least you can see the colors. That's, the almond it looks yellow to me, and it's not yellow, it's a almond color. <laughs> so, um, so what we're doing is the, the brown, the timber line, will go where the red siding is on the on the front wall out front here. Replace that wood on the Peeling window. Terrible wood. And below. The columns will be white or the almond color. And then doing new gutters as well, those will be the brown as well. Around the whole front roof there. Well, it definitely needs a little up, updating for sure. Yeah, it's been how many years, Dave? 84, 86, somewhere in there? When the building was done? Yeah. So, other than maybe a couple coats of paint, there's not been much done. And the, the actual siding is going to be vertical like the old Yes, okay. yes.
And we are replacing those five windows on that wall as well out front. Just a similar window to what's there. And I'm hoping if we can convince the powers to be, maybe next year we could look at updating our signage, both here and the entrance signs to town. So those are showing their age quite a bit. Yes, well, we've had those redone a couple times too. Yeah, and the last time there was a couple of them. They said that's the last that time. That was the last time. We can't, mm -hmm. we can't get any more out of them. <laughs> They're getting worn down. The ones that are out along the road are pretty sad shape. Are the windows going to be vinyl or what are they <coughs> plan for those? The signs. The windows. Yeah, the the windows are vinyl. Is yes. that going to be white or brown? They're the they're matching the columns, the almond color. Okay. Since it's for the village, <clears throat> I'm not going to dish it too much, but I would like to see something a little more precise as far as these questions we're asking. As though you should, it should be it's kind of self-explanatory from the from the picture. I know no, when I, I, I have to go before other boards, it's always a yeah. I, I could have labeled that a lot better. So yeah. <laughs> I apologize. Anyway, um, any, any questions, concerns from the board? Definitely going to be an improvement, that's for sure. Needs it. Yeah. Okay, if there's no more discussion, I need a motion. I'll make the motion to accept colors. I'll second. Shoemaker? Aye. Cool. Aye. Walensky? Aye. Wangard? Aye. McFarland? Aye. All I have. That's it. Okay. Guess we can uh, ask for a motion to close the meeting. Uh, can I make a motion? Sure. <laughs> I'll make the motion then. A second on that? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you guys. Thank you.